This was the dream. 20 years ago, there were hardly any girls in lecture halls like this. But today, over 40% of all students in public tertiary institutions are young women. As girls, they get an extra one and a half points when entering higher education. 20-year-old Gulam Hajra is one of those who have benefited from that policy. Despite that, she feels she's as good as the boys in her business administration class. We are trained to make better or pass even better. So at times even we tend to forget that, oh, that 1.5 point is there, you understand? That 1.5 only comes in now when our results are back and you're like, now where am I falling? Gulam isn't counting on anyone to see her through university either. She owns this restaurant where she works days to pay for her tuition. Her mother, Irene Sambula, helped her with startup capital and is always on hand to help. Irene never made it to university herself. New policies and changing attitudes have given her daughter opportunities that her generation never had. Education with the, the girl child was something really very difficult because even if you want to continue with the education, the parents want you to get married. At least these days, girls think of education than getting married. When the government enacted a new constitution 20 years ago, it put emphasis on affirmative action for groups like women, the young and the disabled. In the space of one generation, the fortunes of the women in this family have been transformed. A change in policy means Gulam had a stepping stone to education that her mother didn't. That being said, it's widely agreed that more needs to be done to get more girls into higher education. But for now, the girls who have made it this far feel there is reason to be optimistic. Razia Athman from Urban TV in Uganda, reporting for the BBC.